Once you get Zotero set up, you may want to set up an account on the Zotero website. You don't have to do this. It's purely optional, but it's free and it's useful. Having a Zotero account lets you do two things. First, you can synchronize your library, which means backing it up on the Zotero cloud servers so you can access it from more than one computer. Second, you can create shared group libraries that multiple people can access for collaborative projects. We won't cover group libraries in this video, just setup and syncing. First, let's set up an account. This is easy. Go to Zotero.org, click Login at the top, and since you don't have an account yet, click Register for a free account. Choose a username, type in your email, and choose a password. You'll get an email confirmation with a link to click, and then you're done registering. Once you've set up your account on the website, the next step is to open the Zotero application and enter your account info. Open the Zotero application on your computer. Click Edit and then Preferences. Under the blue Sync tab on the Preferences screen, enter the username and password that you just created on the website. Click OK to close the Preferences screen. Finally, click the circular green arrow button at the top right of the Zotero application. This starts Zotero syncing for the first time, which means that it's uploading a copy of your library to the Zotero server. From now on, anytime you make changes or save new items to your Zotero library, the current version will be backed up automatically on the server. You don't have to do anything special to make the backup happen, it just works in the background. You'll notice the green arrow spin from time to time as it updates. You get 300 megs of free storage space on the Zotero server. Only attachments like PDFs count against this limit. You can have an infinite number of citations as long as your attachments are less than 300 megabytes total. You can purchase more storage space inexpensively from the Zotero website, but most people won't need that for a long time, if at all. If you're using Zotero on a different computer, you can open Zotero's preferences and enter your username and password, then click the green arrow to synchronize. Your library will download from the cloud onto the new computer. This takes a few minutes if you have a large library with a lot of attachments. More questions about Zotero? Check out our guide and our other videos.